Good morning gamers, it is me, Jork the Pork, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download eSign and sideload apps on your phone on iOS 18 without a computer, without a jailbreak, and the biggest part of this is that it is a very big anti-revoke method using my own jorkthepork.com, so let's get right into it. Now this method is very, very simple. It has one small flaw, and that is for some people, it's not gonna work first try. So I'm gonna walk you through the process, and if it doesn't work for you, I'll explain exactly what the error is. I'll also explain how you can work around that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come to jorkthepork.com. Uh, the link for it will be in the description, or you can just look it up. And the first thing we wanna do, this is very important, is download this Coin DVN DNS profile. Essentially what a DNS does is it blocks links that Apple uses to revoke your apps. Now, a lot of people claim that DNS is flawed, and by the way, just follow me through these next steps. We're gonna head to settings to trust it. A lot of people claim that DNS is flawed, and that is technically true, but it is free, and that is the big thing. You don't have to pay any money to use this DNS. But the reason why it's flawed is because, as I mentioned before, on first attempt, it might not work for everyone. So if you follow my instructions, we're then going to install this profile. One big caveat is with this specific DNS, you can't use a VPN with it, which causes a lot of people to get revokes. So like if you want to use a VPN, there is a workaround. I can show it in a future video. It's a very simple. You just basically create your own DNS. So like if that's desire, just comment it down below and I'll do it. So anyways, we can see that our DNS is uh, up and running. You can kind of choose if you want to like filter out ads, whatever. And also you cannot update your phone while on the DNS. Like it literally just won't let you. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is back in jorkthepork.com, we are going to scroll down and we want to install eSign. Now you can see there's a bunch of different eSigns that I have right here. This is actually at a date, Sunshine 3 is not signed. I will update it with the latest signed one. Uh, we basically wanna download eSign from any of these links. You can see there's a bunch of them. So the first one might not work for you. We're gonna try it, let's try it. So. We're gonna try and install this Vietnam Post one. They all have weird names because it's basically Chinese companies that like distribute these certificates. So don't be concerned about that. You can see that it worked for me. There's a chance, I would say about a 30% chance, I've seen a lot of statistics from these videos, that it's gonna do the download, then it's gonna gray out and say like, unable to install something about like integrity could not be verified, Any, anything related to that, anything related to it not installing, that means you are what's called blacklisted or revoked or something like that. If that's the case, don't worry. If that didn't happen to you, back in here, we're gonna go ahead and trust it. And it does make your phone restart. I am gonna skip through this process because it's literally just waiting for your phone to turn back on. All right, turned on. So now we just say swipe up to continue, install profile, which is in red, kind of misleading. And then we just wait for it to turn on again. Right. And now we can sign back into our phone and eSign will be up and running. It's probably gonna crash. And then we open it up again. And it continues to crash. Okay, this potentially means that I'm... Oh, no, it's just because my Wi-Fi is not on. Hopefully. Okay, this potentially means that I am blacklisted on the certificate, so I'm going to try downloading a different certificate. Okay, so this is actually really good for the video. So this Vietnam Post one is revoked for me. So if I try and download it, you can see it grays out and says unable to install, integrity cannot be verified, whatever. I don't know why it was crashing earlier and not just giving me this. So you can see that is an error you're probably going to get and you're like freaking out. And it's like, I'm freaking out, you know, why'd I get this error? But, but if we head back to jorktheport.com, there's a whole bunch of other ones to try. So I believe this China continent property one is pretty decent. So if we try and install that, should work, hopefully. Yeah, there we go, okay. So obviously it's kind of, we got to go through the same process. I guess on iOS 18, they introduced this new thing. So I'm just going to skip through this whole thing again. All right, so it installed. And also this time, let's make sure we wait until Wi-Fi comes back to enter the app just in case. So Wi-Fi is back. Now we should be able to enter eSign. It should crash the first time, but every other time, yep, there we go. Um, all right, so now we can agree and we are into eSign. So you guys basically saw one of those certificates failed for me, but another one worked, which is, you know, very interesting. That just means this one hasn't been blacklisted on my phone. 
if you go through every single certificate and none of them work, and I'm going to even link more certificates in the description, if none of them work, you have three options. The first is the most simple, and that is to use a computer. Computer methods are way simpler. You just basically directly sideload apps onto your phone. The only problem is not everyone has a computer. If you do have a computer, Windows or Mac or Linux or whatever, I'll link a tutorial in the description. Option number two is just wait for a new certificate to come out. They come out pretty quickly because they don't get revoked that often. Um, so yeah, I mean, it'll take like a few days or something. I, I don't know. Option number three is to perform a backup reset on your phone. Basically going into iCloud, performing a backup, and then going into general and literally just resetting your phone. The only thing is this, it's completely safe. I mean, it's just like when you're setting up a new phone. The only thing is it takes a while, you know, it could take like an hour or something, depending on how much you have on your phone. Once you get eSign download, however, we're ready to start getting apps. Although we first actually need to get that certificate onto eSign itself. So we're going to download either like Jorkup certs or latest certificate. Jorkup certs is probably fine. I hope. Let's see if I updated it. Um, it'll download. You just want to find that in your, um, in your downloads file, and then you can tap it to unzip it. And when you find eSign certs, and this is not the most recent eSign certs, I've got a bunch of them. Um, that's also not the most recent. Let's see if I can find the most recent. All right, here we go. You guys shouldn't have all that clutter. But anyways, you want to find the certificate that you use to install eSign. Technically, you don't have to, but like, you know that one works. So for me, it was, I believe, this China Continent one. That first one I tried was like the Vietnam Post one. Um, we basically want to head into eSign and we're going to import that file. So you're just going to click on those three dots, click import, and then you got to find it again. And then once you find it, you're going to import that file, click import. Then you're going to click on it again and click import certificate management and you'll see imported successfully. Now we're ready to sideload our app. Now sideloading apps is really simple. It's not hard to find the app you want online. Um, you basically are just looking for an IPA version of the app you want to download. I can't directly say how to get the app because that would get this video taken down. However, if you need help, comment down below. It's just very simple. I'll also link some IPA libraries. There's actually one on jordanfork.com. Anyways, once you get your app, we're going to import the app. So for me, I'm just going to download this app from made by a friend. You should check it out on the App Store. If I can type it in right, it's called Chroma Hue. And you're just going to download it. You're, well, you're going to import it. And then if we head over to the app section, you will see it. We're going to click on Signature. More than likely, when you click on Signature again, yeah, you're going to see like this certificate's been revoked. But don't worry, it's working because of the DNS. And then you're going to click Install. And this should pretty much always work as long as you're using the same certificate used to install eSign because it's just the same certificate. So now where is it downloading? Okay, I just see it in my app library. But anyways, you can see it opened up just fine. So that's pretty much all. You can download as many apps as you want with eSign. The only thing is just be very careful with the DNS. If it is working, it will work for a very long time. If one day your apps just stop working, like they crash or like they, they say like this app is like, uh, I don't know, it doesn't work anymore, something like that, that most likely means you accidentally did something to mess up the DNS. All you have to do is, well, you have a few options. You kind of have to delete your apps because you're not going to get that certificate working again unless you do the backup reset. So you can try a different certificate. You can use the computer method or just do a backup reset of your phone and do that same thing. So that's pretty much all. If you guys have any problems, be sure to comment them down below and I will be sure to help you. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.